Hey everyone, I thought I'd just share you a simple movement practice, which I do. Doesn't really mean that you have to do it, but I find great benefit and value in doing it. And that's literally hill sprints. So I'll be running up that hill. Now that's in, in itself is more than enough, but my spin on it is to make it a little bit harder for myself. And I'll do that by breath holds. So breath holds where essentially I'll be breathing in normally, breathing out normally, and then breathing on an empty breath and pushes myself as much as possible. And then from the first sign or urgency to breathe, I'll stop. And typically that's around 15 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds. So it's really intense. You don't need to do massive amounts, so not high volume, literally about five to eight sets. And in the rest periods as well, if you can try and control your nasal breathing with slow, deep inhalation, you'll get a massive benefit. So we're training our body as if it's in an altitude state. So we're creating a sort of pseudo hypoxia effect we're increasing our carbon dioxide levels, making us a little bit more sensitive. And this improves a concept called the Bohr effect, which shuttles oxygen into the cells and actually improves oxygenation in the cellular, especially in the muscle cells. And again, this improves vasodilation. So this will even enhance the oxygenation to a greater extent. So that's a quick little hack if you want to call it a hack i just call it a a movement practice strategy that i do and when you do it outdoors it's much better as well so i'm doing a bit of cold therapy because it is freezing here but anyway i hope you enjoy that and let me know what you think send me an email and don't forget to send me a question um which you can find at the bottom of this newsletter so send me a question that you would like me to answer and i'll do that in my fortnightly newsletter series